Hello everyone, Exedra here bringing you episode 29 of Create Above and Beyond, a mod pack by Simi Bubby. Well, in the last episode, we finally... Oh, I gotta fix this. Anyway, we finally unlocked the abstruse mechanism. And during my time lapse, I moved the miner around and I also... Oh my god, please stop. Okay, it's done. And uh, I made sure that we got 16 abstruse mechanism. Unfortunately, to do that, I I kept pulling out a tall poise bush from here, even though the system is not fully primed yet. But I was in a situation where I just wanted to get things done. And one of the things that I'm going to have to do, though, is I want this to back up. So I'm going to have to limit this to one, uh, to one stack. Because having three stacks of poise bush not super helpful because it, it means I have one in here, I have one in here, then this can fully be full, and then this can start producing more tall poise bush. Like that's the idea of where I'd like this to be because I need this to be full also so that it starts sending to the other one. Can I just get close enough to oh it's done. So also like this, it I need to figure out this whole, um, what's it called? This whole. Oh man, there's a name somewhere in there. If I can say it. this, this inventory stuff, but not today, not today. I just want to get some progress done. These are things I can waste time on when we're not processing stuff further. So I made sixteen because today we're going to finish chapter three by making our first uh, machine. Uh, first, I don't, in the area machine, I think. So we're going to need two ender pearls, two ender pearls, and two obsidian. And we're going to make four ender casing. We're going to use two of these ender casing to make our first two in the area machine. And the reason I made four is that if I come right over here and I complete the chapters, like always, we get some rewards and 16 more abstruse mechanism which means I can go like this and make two more. Great. So I can reset all of this back there. But before we do that, the reason I want to do this is that the first thing I want to do is start pulling lava automatically. So with these interior machine, what we can finally make are ender tank. So we're going to make two fluid tank first. So I'm going to need two copper casing and Two copper nuggets, copper casing, so perfect. Let's grab a copper right here that we're going to platify. Sheetify, uh, whatever. Let's put it here, grab this. Then we're going to need two of these and one of these. So this is going to go and make a two copper casing. And then we can make two fluid tank. And then we can make our two ender tank. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is I want some orange dye. Uh, do I have... So I need some red, so let's grab four red for now. And do I have yellow somewhere? So I have yellow for sure. I gotta have some yellow flowers. Let's grab four dandelion. And we're just going to go in here and crush them. That's going to give us some yellow for sure. So that that part, that step that I'm doing right now, that's absolutely not necessary. The reason I'm doing it is I want some orange because I always, I like my love, my uh, ender, my tanks to be color coded. So I'm going to make these lava tanks. Perfect. And now I don't need this extra, so I can put this extra. Uh, I can put this extra away. Great. And we can get these two backs, two back. And we're going to go and make our setup. Uh, did I not make extra tank? Oh. I thought maybe I did. Let me just go and check. Oh, yes, I did. I just put them there. Okay, so let's grab these two. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to put an ender tank right here, okay? So this is going to be the receptacle 
And now let's go to the nether and we're going to make the, um, the extractor, the distributor, sorry. We're going to need to sleep before we leave though. So we'll just take a quick sleep because I don't want to be mobified to death. And now let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna grab the mob drops. I My inventory is starting to get stuck with a lot of things. So let's go to the nether. And I'm going to need a lot more of these endurium tank because my power from now on is probably going to be lava power everywhere. It's really good and it's going to go faster. So we're gonna take this off right here. We're gonna put a tank right there. So the beauty of this tank is that I can say pull and push. Okay, so this is pulling super fast from the host pulley right here. So it's always going to be full. Then I'm going to put another ender tank on top of this and I'm going to set up the top as push and voila, ender tank is full of lava. This fluid cell is full of lava and this will always be lava, lava, lava. So now I could go back home and this is chunk loaded so it won't ever be a problem. That portal is loud. The drops, I love my sword. Okay, so now if I go completely back here. Oh, this is so far. I can see that this is now completely full and this is full. So now I have automated lava to here, which means this will be producing lava all the time. And I accelerated it with a reinforced integral component which is time three to make 120 RF, which means I'm now okay with having all of this running. Let's just push these two in here. So now this one's taking 20, this one's taking 20, and this one's taking 40. So four, uh, six, eight, and this is producing 120. This is using 80, but it's temporary. Like it's just going to finish the last two. Right now I'm not producing enough power clearly, but it's okay for the time being, because like I said, these are going to just melt two blocks and then we're going to stabilize the whole power. Oh, and we're already at 10. So this is going to get filled pretty soon, hopefully. So today, what are we going to do today? Well, today I want to get into alchemical because um, I'm going, alchemical is one of those things that unfortunately takes a while, okay? And what I mean by that is let's unlock it and let's go look at it. So we're going to go in overview and we have the two paths. We have the standard into the box chapter four, which we're going to do for sure. Like even if we're super lucky with alchemy, we're going to do this. I just want to get started with alchemy because alchemy is something that I'm going to be doing over a big time lapse and multiple episodes. Okay. So let's start with Chaotic Alchemy because the thing is we might have an unlucky seed. So let's read this. Alternative path. You'll find that the newly discovered laser setup has other interesting capabilities. Behind a bit of science and experimentation lies a way to transmute seemingly unrelated material between another. The demand silicon element is one of them, but which is its counterpart? After hitting the check mark above, the alternative fourth chapter of the factory guide will become accessible from the quest sidebar. It will be, it will still be possible to return to the other chapter. Hell yeah! So let's do this. I'm not going to unlock this right now. Uh, there's no reason not to unlock it. So let's read it and unlock it. Into the box. A new energy unit joins the rank. The production facility for silicon will involve an interplay of thermal induction machinery and the familiar kinetic components. Between flux and stress, a particular innovation in laser technology will be required to produce some of the ingredients involved. After hitting the check mark above, the fourth chapter of the factory guide will become accessible from the quest sidebar. Great. So let's look at that one first. And let's just look. So the goal of this chapter is going to be to produce silicon. Okay. So we're going to read this chapter four start. The next target will be printed silicon as one of two known ways to obtain it. The assembly line will move items. 
fluids and energy in and out of the new and rather compact Envar machinery. Much like previous chapters, a few new material source or shipments are required first. So let's check that. Then let's read. New capacity. The upcoming assembly line will require a significant amount of flux energy to run. It is recommended to find a suitable generation method and to consider higher scale in planning should it become necessary later. That's what I just solved with the lava. Okay, the alchemical laser. So this is important. We need this. A central role in the age of technology is played by the alchemical laser. It usually involves converting one material into another using a high energy beam and a catalyst or tool of some kind. Inventors can familiarize themselves with the necessary machinery component via JEI or via entering C ponder cube GS something. So let's do this. Uh, C ponder cube GS alchemical laser. So basically we need an Envar machine, okay? Then we put a laser lamp of any color that we need to power on, okay? And then we use a deployer and we're going to punch mode and then just when the deployer hits the Envar machine, it fires a high energy beam. Now we need a minecart with hopper to put things in it so that the laser can hit them. And now it's giving the example to make the andesite, but that's not what we're going to use it with. We're going to need this for multiple things, but that's not what we're going to use it for today. Okay, so that was important. And open, oh, wow. I could just click this, boy. Okay, so this opened a whole new can of worm and look at this. We need snowballs to make snowball cubes and blizz mill and blah, blah, blah. Then we need wood to make cold coke, blah, blah, blah. We need sand to make sand ball and liquid sand and crystalline sand to make some weird contraption here to make silicon. But this also require basals. Like this is so many setup, one setup, two setup, three setup, four setup, five setup. And then probably that would be the sixth setup right here. All that to get to what are they called? Calculation mechanism. So we have multiple episode incoming. That being said, uh, let's just go and look at the silicon. Silicon. So to make this silicon, there are two mechanisms. I can get the silicon compound and ice charge together in an induction smelter, or I can extract it from silicon reagent. How do I get silicon reagent? Obtain only by running a chaos catalyst and any amount of one specific other reagent through an alchemical laser. So I know it's not clear right now and we'll get to it later, but the chaos catalyst, if you use a chaos catalyst in a minecart with another reagent, let's say diamond reagent, the two together are going to give you silicon, let's say then it means that to make silicon, you need to make diamond reagent. And as you can see, diamond's super rare. So if that was our recipe, if our silicon reagent was created by diamond reagent, we'd be like, no way can we use this. We don't have enough diamond because all it's called chaotic. It's called chaotic for a reason, okay? So now let's get into the alchemy side and look at all of this. So first, let's read this. Another way forward. As an alternative, more risky approach to a refined silicon resource, laser alchemy can provide an obscure yet rewarding new path of progression. Discover the secret code of each reagent class in order to learn about the recipes of chaos catalyst. Once found, the chaos catalyst can not only transmutate a material into silicon, but potentially create other valuable resources from the most trivial in uh, trivial ingredients. So let's grab that and let's continue reading. So the alchemical laser, blah, blah, blah. So this is the same thing it was saying with the ponder, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, if we go to this one here, encapsulate, decapsulate. Aside from the alchemical laser setup, you'll need a few other machines for your new alchemic, alchemy lab. The fluid encapsulator uses molten glass to create reagents from resource. The reagent extractor can reverse this process. The centrifugal separator is required to analyze alchemical blends for clues. 
a vital routine when researching the recipe of Catalyst. So I want to get into all of this, but let's do a setup to start making uh, reagents because this is like this is going to take a while. So it's time for list time, and I'm sorry, in episode 28, I forgot to put the list down. So I just took a note down to make sure that I'm going to do it next episode for this episode. So for the reagent setup, we're going to need a seared heater, a seared melter, a mechanical pump, and a fluid encapsulator. Then for the laser setup, we're going to need an Invar machine, a laser lamp, a deployer in punch mode, a minecart with hopper. And for the alchemy, alchemy, uh, alchemy lab, wow, we're going to need a centrifugal separator and a reagent extractor. But we're going to do this in three parts. First part, we really need to get started like ASAP with the reagents. So let me check here. Um, did I not over make a seared melted or seared, seared heater? Just give me a moment. Oh yeah, right here. I'm going to grab the seared heater. Uh, I'm going to grab the seared faucet because I want to test something. And then I'm going to make a seared, um, don't remember the name, the seared melter. So let's just search for seared melter. Right here needs a fuel gauge. And then we can just do this. Voila. Okay, so this is going to melt the sand. Then we need the uh, fluid encapsulator, super important. So fluid encapsulator is made with a Invar machine. So copper gear, redstone flux coil. Let's just make my redstone flux coil. I'm going to need three because I have three machines to make. I'm also going to need four Invar machine. So what's my Invar machine status? Do I have, I have three. So let's just make some more. Let's come over here and we're going to grab another stack and make eight more. Wow, 13 stack. Now this is starting to work really nice. Okay, so uh, what are they made with? Uh, again, they're made with Invar something, Invar casing. So I'm going to need eight, four Invar, four stone. Let's go back here. What's my Invar status? Not bad. Four in var four stone. Let's just check what is this doing. This is doing nickel. Ooh, yes, please. Oh, it's iron that I'm missing. Let's just. I'm gonna take one quick break. Invar is good. We're going to need more invar. I want invar. Invar is life. Let's just come over here and show this in here. Great, and then we can continue. So I'm gonna need the four stones. So boom, boom, like this. And then I can go eight and 64. So we've got our Invar machines. Great, and now I can make my fluid in caps. Oh no, I need some just glass and some copper gear. So one and two, and I need one bucket, one bucket, and then I'm going to need one and, oh, I thought I was out of glass. That would not have been fun. Let's just make this, perfect. So now we're ready to go make our setup. What I'm going to do for now is sleep. <laughs> I was, I'm just going to go grab a couple of um, stack of uh, carbon, uh, not carbon, charcoal, so that I can start the setup. So that's going to be, I need six. Oh, I said six, perfect. So that's going to, fuel the seared heater and then we're going to have to fuel the seared melter let's go just back downstairs uh do i have two hoppers yep i did not put them in my list because they're pretty standard stuff and we're going to go back here one two three four five yeah i have space for five sand five stack of sand so let's come over here and grab one two three four five And we're going to go back here. Let's look at this. How much? Still a lot. Why is this stopped? Oh, why is this whole thing stopped? What? Um, okay, I'm going to have to just 
make a little bit of space and come right back in a moment. Okay, so this is going power. Now I'm getting into a very tight situation, but this is very temporary. I just want to be able to get started. Um, I'm going to need power. You know, let's get rid of this and let's get some Invar Flux Duck. Perfect. We're going to tap from here into this fluid encapsulator. And now I'm going to try something... I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just curious to try it before I make my mechanical pump. So this with a back hopper, which is going to be the charcoal setup. Six line was perfect. Then I'm going to need the seared melter. <laughs> try to. Perfect. Now do this, and this is going to be the scent setup. So we're now melting, and what I want to do is do this. I, I'm just curious to know if I can... Oh, okay. I'm going to need the thermal... What's it called? The modular configurator, which means I'm going to need two gold gears. Let's go back here. So modular perfect this one right here we're going to need two gold gear one <laughs> really problem solved so one um yeah two gold gear then i can what's the next step two gold gear and um redstone servo oh invar and then I'm going to go and grab two Invar again. Told you I needed to start Invar again because we always need Invar. And Invar is kind of a long process, to be honest. So let's go back here and let's make this. And then we can go back and reactivate. Well, not reactivate, but test if what I want to do is going to work. I would really love it for it to work. Okay, so I'm going to configure the top as this and now oh, yes yes it works oh oh this is amazing i'm really happy with that and it's pushing all of it okay this is great so now we need two barrels um and of course i don't have barrels <laughs> um did i really run out of barrels like i thought i had made like a crazy well, when I ended up making my setup here and adding a lot more, that's when I kind of ran out of barrel, I guess. So let's just grab one stack like this and go this and this. And we're going to make as much as many barrel as we can again. And do this and get rid of that. So 10 is not an epic amount, but whatever. We're good. We're, we're just going to go back. The reason I want barrels is super simple, okay? So we're going to go one back here and one right here. Okay, so now that this is push and pull, we're going to want to pull from the back and push to the left. Okay, so now we're ready to start fluid encapsulating. And we're starting to melt. You know what? I want to do one last test. Can I make another one of these fluid cell? Yeah, so I need these nickel gears and I've got, so I'm going to make two again. I just want to do one test of push pull with it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's just check what else are we going to need. We're going to need. Oh, that's important. We're going to need this part. Wait, this part right here, the Arden something. We're going to need uh, any sand and nether quartz dust. Okay, so. Any sand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten obsidian. I'm going to make ten because I want to have a little bit for the future. And ten of these, which I'm going to need to crush. This is super fast though, so it shouldn't be a problem. And ten. And we're going to hijack this and just do this. Perfect. 
Is this still producing power? Yeah, but I'm going to have to make it better soon. So this should be able to produce all of them that I want for now. I just need two. Perfect. What else do I need? I'm going to need the rubbers, iron, redstone, rubber, those two. And then I'm going to need eight glass. Perfect. So let's go back here and grab eight glass. And let's come here. I guess I already had a gear. Oh, now I'm out of copper. So I already, oh yes, in the time lapse. That's, that's what I did in the time lapse. What's my copper situation though? Please, please tell me I have copper. Nope. And you know what? There's not going to be any, oh yes. Oh, I'm so lucky. Let's grab all of it and let's go back there. That's the problem with my setup right now. The, it's so slow, it's something I'm going to have to improve. I thought that the speed would not be a problem because I figured, you know, whatever. It's going to be running while I'm doing all my other uh, preparation and all my other stuff, so it's not going to be a problem. I just didn't think that it was going to be that slow. So let's just grab eight of these. And let's go make those two tank. I don't really need to. It's just when I'm making them, I try I try to make them in pair. Is there a reason? Not sure. Don't know. Maybe. So we're going to need two of these. One, two. And then we should be able to make these two. So the reason I want to do this is I want to see if I can use that to extract from the melter. So if I do this and I put this here and I say input. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, so basically we can push in here and we can grab from there. So this is amazing. That's what I wanted. Okay, now that that's all done, we need to start with our reagent. We're going to start here because this is the easiest possible. We want to make andesite, diorite, granite, stone, basalt, and gabbro. So let's go and grab eight of each of those. Eight for now is going to be enough. So one two three four five six seven eight perfect eight die right eight gabbro and eight granite okay so cobblestone gabbro diorite granite oh i need andesite and the site and basalt. I don't know if I have basalt. Let's go and look. Dolomite, limestone. Huh. I don't think I have basalt. Okay, so that's going to be a problem for another moment. Let's go put those in at least so I can get started. And if we're lucky, we don't need basalt. I would be very lucky. Okay, so now I can put all of these in here. And since this machine is set to automate push-pull, it's grabbing the cobblestone and it's encapsulating it with glass and it's pushing it in here. And voila, we're getting our first reagents. So we're going to let that continue its thing. And while we're letting that continue its thing, uh, basalt, basalt. How do you get basalt? Igneous extruder with soul soil, blue ice, and lava. So not an issue, not an issue. Blue ice, blue ice, ice is made from nine packed ice. Packed ice is made from either nine ice or eight ice around a frozen core why the heck would you do this recipe this is so dumb uh ice can be turned one ice can be washed into packed ice okay that's even better now then how do we get ice we need a blast chiller or trade station what's a blast chiller uh. <laughs> okay so we either need you know what screw it we're going to buy it. That's why we made the market. That's why we did all of this so that when we have situation like this, we can easily get out of it. 
we found a snow biome so technically i could travel to a snow biome and i could get enough ice to get my first packed ice and from that first packed ice we would be able to um, progress to the next step and make the blast chiller and we're going to make the blast chiller for now i, I just want to get my blue ice so we're going to come to the trading station right here and we're going to just market our way out of this situation for now so shipments uh ice right here so we want to buy the ice thingy and then we can go right here and say ice ice baby give me some ice i really need a better place to store all of this what are we doing now crush nickel oh now i have a power issue maybe i grabbed a bit too much silver coin. yeah okay i'm good so let's grab these ice and we're all going to transform them into packed ice aha i cannot get a blue ice because i also need more ice so let's come back here and let's just do this again I don't need that much, but uh, you know what? Let's, that's enough. Let's just do this. Then we can come back here and we're going to get our one blue ice. Per, oh, no, times two. And those nine packed ice are going to become two blue ice. And these, yeah, I'm going to have enough for my blast chiller when I decide to make it. Okay, so igneous extruder. Igni this extruder right here uh, it's a zinc machine with a piston do I have zinc machines yes and piston are easy to make so piston I said piston like so and we can go and make our igneous extruder we have our packed ice we need our soil soul soil and then i need a bit of lava you know what let's get rid of some of these coins um i'm starting to put things all over the place again sorry about that guys right now i just i want to progress this is a progression episode i need to progress now uh, let's get rid of this and let's get rid of this perfect and let's get rid of the ender dust for now you know all of that also uh no, these two things I'm going to keep in here for now. Now let's grab some glass. And we're going to make a very temporary basalt setup right here for now. Really doesn't matter. So we're going to go break this. Soul soil. Igneous extruder. Then we can go lava blue ice and well it's starting to make basalt we're going to draw i think this can set to oh it's the same thing i need the augment you know what let's augment it because might as well start making 32 and it's going so fast oh my god i'm gonna have to look into the igneous extruder a bit more igneous extruder i can make andesite oh that would simplify my machine uh, cobblestone, stone, don't care, diorite, gabbro, <laughs> packed ice pillar, chisel, packed ice. <gasps> oh, yes, I'm refactoring my all. Oh, this is going to be so amazing. <sighs> let's concentrate. Let's stay on focus. Well, <laughs> let's try to stay on focus. So I came over here because I want the augment. I want this. So we're going to make two of these gears and we're going to make one of we're going to go you know what i'm so tired of the back and forth at this point yeah let's just grab a stack we'll put that in our chest well not not our chest in our drawer right here and this is going to be very useful going forward so let's do this and then we can do the augment and we're going to augment this thing and set it to whoa oh no okay so it 
doesn't work for that, which means I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to configure it, uh, not configure it, like uh, extract with uh, pipes. We're going to do that later. Uh, I want to make my last eight, so let's just put that in here. And now we're going to have all of the reagents that we needed. Just going to wait for those last two and go, voila! And let's go check the quest. And we're going to get right here and go, voila! Andesite, Diorite, Granite, Stone, Basal, Basalt, and Gabbro. Which means we can now try and guess the Igneous Catalyst. If this is unlocked, you have gathered all reagents of the Igneous ca category. The Igneous Catalyst can be created by a combination of four reagents of this category in the alchemical laser. It is recommended to always take notes of previous results. This way it is not uncommon to find a solution in under six attempt. Wow. Under six attempt, I, I think that they're being too uh, generous. I think it's going to be a bit harder than that. Now we need the laser setup. So we got an Invar machine. We need a laser lamp, a deployer, and a mine cart with hopper. So let's start the mine, uh, the uh, the deployer. So we're going to need to make four gold sheet. And while we're doing this, let's look at laser. Laser. Um, wait, wait, how do we make a laser? Inverted gray laser lamp, block cutting, gray fallout light, gray lantern, gray laser lamp. Laser lamp. We need gray lamp. We need a lamp, sorry. Ooh, ooh. Inverted gray lamp. This is cheaty though. Do I do it? Oh, I don't think I'm doing it. Okay, so it's, it's so easy that I'm not going to worry about it. So let's just make sure that the deployer's done. So this with this. Then I need an andesite machine um, right here. So that's going to be my deployer. Perfect. Uh, so I, I have the deployer. Now I need a laser lamp. Okay, so that's what I was trying to do. So I want... an orange laser lamp and an orange laser lamp is made by stone cutting an orange lamp or no okay an orange lamp and an orange lamp is made with a redstone a glass and an orange illuminar orange illuminar is made with two glowstone and two orange dye and we do have so technically i've i've got this here i i let, let's make it because you probably did not have the chance of getting one. So we'll just make it the formal way. So like this with two orange dye gives us an orange illuminar with one glass and one redstone is going to give us an orange lamp. And an orange lamp in a stone cutter is going to give us an orange laser lamp. Well, four. Okay. So let's just keep one. And put that there. So we have the casing. We have the deployer. I need the mine cart with hopper. Uh, oh, let's just make one. So mine cart with hopper. So I'm going to go like this. And then let's make also make a hopper unless I don't have chest. Oh. Chest. Hopper. Minecart with hopper. Great. So we're ready for our setup. <clears throat> Where do I want to do this? Um, I, I'm still, I'm going to set it up here. I don't know if it's a good idea, but eh, I'm fine with it. So let's just do this. So this right here and this right here. And then we need a lever. Perfect. And then we need a deployer. So let's just put this right here. Uh, is it, I think it's too far by one. I think it's okay. I'm really not sure. Now I'm going to need a rail. Rail, rail, rail. Really? Oh, okay. I was like, it's not possible that I do not have a rail. And I was right. It's not possible. 
and then we're just going to use a hand crank. Oh, I added the employer. So we're going to put this in fist mode. Punch mode, sorry. Then we're going to do this. We're going to put a rail right here and we're going to put a minecart with hopper right here. Perfect. Okay, so if I do this, it's too far. So this is not great. Let's try this again. Perfect. Let's change it into fist mode. And let's manually do it. And boom! But there was nothing in here. Okay, so now we start experimenting. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to make our first. So you take four. What I'm going to do is four of each. I'm going to take four Gabbro. And then I can do this. And voila. It transformed into a mundane alchemical blend of four Gabbro. Then I'm going to do the same with all the other four. And this can hurt, so don't stand too close to it, okay? So then this one. And then this one. This is not so bad. We have two more to make. And then this one. Oh. Don't put too much. Don't over put. Like, just four like this. And then we're going to make the last four. And voila. Okay, so now that all of this is done, we actually need our lab. So we're missing two more pieces of machinery. Well, technically, we only miss one. We're only missing the centrifugal separator. But we're going to need the other one the moment we figure things out. So let's make the centrifugal separator. So I'm going to need two signalum gear, which is something... Oh, sleep again. I think that every time I've come upstairs, I've had to sleep. This, this is a bit funny slash ridiculous. So let's go back here and grab some... Where am I going? Uh, why did I come here? I don't even know why I came here. Oh, Signalum. So let's come right here and grab only half a stack of Signalum. This I'm going to need to accelerate. Anyway. Let's come back to this later, but this is kind of bizarre. Another thing that I'm going to need to fix in my factory. <clears throat> so we're going to need to make two Signalum gear. Right here. One and two. Perfect. Then we're going to need to make a compass. Then a. we're going to need two zinc ingot. Oh, no, I have already everything. So that's the centrifugal separator. And then let's make the reagent extractor. We're here anyway, so let's make two copper gear. And then in our machine, a saw blade. I'm going to need four uh, aluminum sheet. Uh, not aluminum. What am I talking about? Four iron sheet. Oh, my inventory. My inventory is in a bad place. That's how you know that you're getting a lot of stuff done. What am I doing? Three four perfect and let's make that saw blade and finally let's make the reagent extractor like i said i don't need this one right now but we're going to get started and now things are going to get funky and i already had these plates uh, these sheets okay so let's come back here and we're going to continue abusing our power setup which means that pretty soon we're going to have to make this power setup way bigger we're just going to extend by one and we're going to go, oh, one machine right here and one machine right here. Just want to check. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, this is amazing. It means that the rest is going to start getting automated. Anyway, so perfect. Now we need to experiment. So if I come back here, all of this is done and we need to experiment for the ignis. So the reason you do this is that the centrifugal separator, the way it works is that you're going to put a month in alchemic blend in here, okay? Place in centrifugal separator to analyze. Ash for each incorrect ingredient, redstone for each correct ingredient in an incorrect slot, and glowstone for each correct ingredient in the correct slot. So we are not going to get any redstone because this is made from four gabbro, okay? 
So the four Gabriel one is going to give us either four ash or perfect, two glowstone. So we know that there is two Gabbro in the recipe. Now we're going to go with the diorite and we're going to see what the diorite gives us. It doesn't matter. You can leave the ash there because we already know there's two glowstone here. So we know that there is one diorite. Now we're going to put the stone and now it's for sure there's at least three of those that are not going to be used at all. So that was the stone and there's a stone. So we already know that we only need to play with these. For the fun of it, we're just going to run these through uh, just to prove. So it's not going to find any andesite. At least it's not using the basalt and it's not going to use any of the granite. <clears throat> And it's not going to use any of the basalt. You know what? So because we know for sure that there's not going to be any basalt, I want to put the basalt here. Just, oh no, that's not a reagent. What am I talking about? So we need to put this here. So we know that it's none of these three. So I'm just going to put one in it to show you. When you put a reagent in a reagent extractor, it extracts an item back from it. Okay. And if I do that with each of them, it would do the same thing, which to be honest, we really don't need to do. We really don't care about. I'm just going to get it back. Okay. So now I'm going to grab another barrel and this is important because I need to try and keep track of my recipes. So these I know are using two. These I know we're using one and these I know we're using one. The problem is we've got them all in the right place. And the reason we got them all in the right place was that we made it four. The goal was to know how many of each. And the, the reason for that is that we now know that we don't need to play with any of these anymore. So as to not take chance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make more of these reagent. So we need, and I didn't note it. Let's go back. Always note this down. Gabbro diorite stone. Gabbro diorite stone. So I'm happy about the stone at least. Gabbro. Gabbro's right here. So we're going to take a half a stack. Gabbro. Diorite. Is that the diorite right here? Yeah. Diorite. And stone. Oh my god. And stone. Well, cobblestone technically and put some back. So I'm going to make more of these because I don't know how much guessing I'm going to have to do. Now for the first one, we're going to try something kind of uh, just, just for the fun of it. And we're going to go two of these, one of this and one of this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try them exactly in that order. So I'm going to go two Gabbro one diorite, one stone. Like th this is really not the best. No, this is just stupid. I'm, I'm just being dumb. Let's grab all of this and let's try and do it in a good way. So let's put this here, this here, this here. So I want to know where my two gabbros are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab two basalt reagent and two endocyte reagent. Uh, no, three basalt reagent and one gabbro. Okay, so we're going to come in here and we're going to put a Gabbro in the first place. These three right there. Punch this. And now it's Gabbro and three Basalt. We know that there's no Basalt. So if we get a Glowstone, the Gabbro's in the right place. So let's just wait for it. Oh, there's a Gabbro in the first position. Amazing. So now I'm going to need another Gabbro and three Andesite. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go try the second position now. Gabbro, Andesite, Andesite. Perfect. And we're going to go and test that. So what I'm going to do is that we know there's a Gabbro right here. And hopefully we've got more Gabbro now. Oof, yes, we do. Yes, we do. I don't need that much Gabbro though. It's the other ones that I'm going to need to test. Okay, 
So no, Gavril's not in the right position. So now we're going to try it again. And we're going to grab the last three granites. So I need to make uh, one that's not good. So we're going to go granite, 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 and one Gabriel right here. That is the last test that we're going to do. And the reason for that is either it's going to be in the right position or not. And if it's not in the right position, it means it's going to be the last position. So now we can just check this right here and we'll see. Come on. And it's not in the right position, which means we've discovered it's Gabro and Gabro last. Now we need to find the diorite, okay? So now we're going to have two Gabro and we're going to need to try a diorite and something else. You know what? I need something else. Let me just come back right here and what was the other material that's really cheap? Andesite. So andesite, I'm going to make another 32 to just be able to have some... Uh, some fluff material to test so let's go right here and by the way i am nowhere sure that this is the best fasted method of doing it it's just the one that i know for now so let's do this because i want andesite now let's put that back here what's going on in here this is melting this is melting it's just slow like that's why you need to set this up early because you need to be able to get working on this stuff as soon as possible perfect so now, like I said, we know that it's uh, Gabro and Gabro. And now I need to know, is the diorite right here? But we want to make sure that we're like, this andesite will not respond. So if we get three glowstone, we're going to know that the diorite's in the right position. If not, it's going in the other position. But regardless, we are going to have the final solution right now. So we're hoping for three glowstone or two glowstone and one redstone. And by the way, this is a good way of making redstone. It gets a very nice cheaty way. So no, it was not in the right position, which means we finally found the response. So Gabro and Gabro, Gabro and Gabro. Then we're going to need one diorite here and one stone there. And that should be our igneous catalyst. Voila! So if I come right here, I can do now do this and go diorite goes here and stone goes here and voila. Oh, let's just take those away and voila. This gives us our igneous catalyst. So we finally, we have our igneous catalyst solution. I think we never lose the igneous catalyst. Like it always returns. So we are never going to need to make another one of this again. Now, with the igneous catalyst, well, we can make... Um, okay, sorry. Well, it's not true. We're going to need to make more, and I'm going to explain. Because now that I've shown you how to do this, I need to do it for the color, the herbal, then for the volatile, then for the crystalline, then for the metallurgic, and finally for the gemstone. Okay? So you saw how expensive this crap was, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to then test these things, okay? Because we're going to need, so fuchsia. How do we get fuchsia? With uh, pink tulip. So that's why I needed some of each flowers because now I'm going to need to uh, produce more of these flowers. Goldenrod, perfect. So what I'm going to need to do, and I'm going to go into time-lapse and do this, is... Okay, sorry. Another phytogenic insulator, just to multiply my flowers, because I don't want to have to go and get some. And I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, I'm not going to make eight. I'm not going to make as many of each. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make four. There's less, so there's less permutation, but it's still complicated. So I'm going to make four of each. And I'm going to test all four of them to know if they're in there. So an, an alternative way would be to do two of these with two of these. And then you know that if, if you get... The, but the problem is this. Sorry. The problem is that even with knowing for sure um, that there's one... Let's say I get one glowstone. It means I only have either one fuchsia and one crimson. So it's not really helping me. So... What I like to do usually is that one of them is going to be the least expensive one. 
and like if I take Azure, Cornflower. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go one by one for to know which one are not used because once you have a neutral one that you know which to not use, it makes the whole process easier. Then I'm gonna to have to do this with the, these. So gunpowder, the, some of them are pretty self-explanatory. Nether, I think is netherrack. Oh no, it's nether wart. So another thing I'm gonna to need to grow into a phytogenic insulator. Then blazing is going to be blaze rods. No, nope, blaze powder. So that's a bit less expensive. Aquatic, I'm gonna to need to purchase from the market. I don't have any prismarine shards. Obsidian, self-explanatory slime is slime balls. Any slime ball? No, it's green slime ball. Okay, so trees. Then we get into the very expensive stuff. Appet appetite, we've got tons of. Certus quartz, we've got a ton of. Sulfuric, we don't have. Like this is something that we have very little. So we're going to pray it's not being used. So these, these more expensive ones are the first one that we're going to try. But all of this, I want to do in a time lapse, uh, during time lapses. So I'm just going to pro repeat this process until I find every single res recipe for every catalyst. Once we've done every recipe for every catalyst, for the final code, we're going to need to do the same thing. We're going to need to guess this whole thing. So you know what? Let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't know if that works. I'm curious to try it. So four stone, four diorite. Let me just check again. Stone, diorite, yeah. Will this create four of them? No, perfect. So I was taking a chance. I was hoping that it would work, but of course it doesn't. So stone, diorite, gabbro. Perfect, so let's do this. Oop. And this again, we're going to do this four times because I want to know if I'm lucky enough to have, oh, I want to know if I'm lucky enough that the igneous catalyst is used in the chaotic catalyst. If not, I'm going to be sad because this is the least expensive one. But if yes, we already know one of the four components. So let's do all four together. And this is going to give us a mundane alchemical blend again. And please, 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 please. Do we have a good seed? One. So only one. I would have wanted more than one, but I'm more than happy that there's at least one. So if I go here at the final code, it means that at least one of these is not used which would be epic. So then I'm going to test for the herbal catalyst. And I think they go in a uh, direction of expensive. The gemstone one is really crazy. Diamond, ruby, emerald, sapphire, lapis, and cinnabar. So this is one of those things where I hope cinnabar. So lapis, you know what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What else goes in here? Cinnabar, lapis, sapphire, emerald, ruby. So four, oh, five, five, okay, five, five. What is this right, uh, sorry, what do I have here? <sighs> Please tell me there's no diamond in my recipe. So five, and see, ruby is not so bad, five ruby. Sapphire is going to be really hard. So one, two, three, four, five, and emerald is also good. Although I can buy all of these things. So worst case scenario, I can buy all of these things. I would just prefer not to have to. So let's go. Put all of this in here. And you know why I want to do these right now? Because I, these are going to be the most expensive ones. So I just want to know quickly which one are going to be my happy path and which one are not going to. And I just want to do a little bit more with you guys. So that's why I'm kind of pushing the envelope. Although this episode is already fairly long. So please use Cinnabar. Please, please, please. Oh, 
Luck factor, please. No cinnabar. Great. So you know what? I'm going to come here. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to use this code. Like this. And I'm going to come right here. And oh, oh, okay. It's not bad. It's, it's not good, but it's not bad. I'm going to tell you why. Because now cinnabar is my test reagent and cinnabar is so cheap. Well, so cheap. I mean, I've got stacks and stacks of these. So now I'm going to... Oh, that, that's, you know, that's something that you can say is a good news in a bad news situation. Uh, what would have been great is if it was using Cinnabar because it's cheap. But at least now I have some kind of easy way of knowing. I don't know why it was not making the next one. Maybe it was waiting on... Okay. Wait a second. Dot emerald reagent. <gasps> no. Okay. It needs emerald dust. Okay. So it's going to be dust of all of these things. So let's just put this right here. So I'm going to give you an example with emerald. Now the beauty of this is that I know that there's no cinnabar. So now I can just do one of each. So honestly, that's really the best way of doing it. And what I mean by that is that because we've done... Oh, is that going to work? Nope, pulverizer. Oh my god. That was so dumb. I've just lost two emeralds. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Where... Do I have another pulverizer somewhere? Because I, I don't want to risk... Let's just... Do these. Can I click faster? Nope. Great. So, where did those go? Oh, I've got them in my inventory. Sorry. So, now, let's go. We're going to make two reagents. That's the last thing I'm going to do on camera. Well, not on time-lapse. I just want to show you quickly. So, now, if I do this, I'm going to put two in there just so that I get two reagents. And I can do this. I can go in the cart and put three cinnabar because I know there's no cinnabar and one emerald. And instead of using four for each, I can just use one of each. So if I come right here and I go, this is gonna give me three ash and potentially a, a glowstone or a redstone. Redstone. Okay, so it means that there's going to be a emerald, but we don't know where it is. So unfortunately, emerald is involved into that gemstone catalyst so we're going to need to do this for all of them but like i'm i'm going to do it in the time lapse and i'm going to use the cinnabar reagents or reaction to be able to test each one of those and like i said i'm going to continue with all of this a little bit in my time lapse but mainly mainly what i'm hoping for is this to get Full because my goal is to be able to start getting a lot of these abstruse mechanism so that we can um, so that we can make more enter tank and set up power wherever we want but that's why I wanted to get to this point because we can start getting working on that and you know what no uh, I'm going to call I'm gonna do a very small time lapse because I just want to get a bit more of each and we're going to go into episode 30 and episode 30 is going to be a big time lapse episode my my idea is that i would like to resolve all of the alchemical code and know what everything is by the like by the end of episode 30 so that then we can see what kind of things we got lucky with and what kind of things we didn't get lucky with so guys that's going to be it for this episode thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.